How is it that American schools teach Joseph McCarthy was wrong about everything when so much of what he said was vindicated by declassified documents in the 1990s? It all started when this guy, Whitaker Chambers, approached the FBI in 1948. He told them that he was an ex-Soviet spy and that there was a mole working in the State Department. This guy, Alger Hiss. So Chambers proceeds to lead the FBI to a pumpkin field. He reaches into a carved pumpkin and pulls out all kinds of classified documents. And they reveal that the communists had infiltrated both the government and the scientific community, the pumpkin papers. Well, Alger Hiss would go to jail. And of course, Julius and Ethel Rosenberg would be charged with treason for sharing nuclear secrets with the Soviet Union. They would be put to death. But of course, schools act like they were the only ones. But they leave out that a chemist named Henry Gold was sentenced to 30 years in prison for the same activity. And a physicist named Klaus Fuchs got 14 years. And that many of these convictions were made possible by the testimony of Elizabeth Bentley, the Red Spy Queen, who was an ex-Soviet spy that had a change of heart in 1945. And she spilled the beans on an entire network of moles that she was connected with. But of course, the media and academia made nothing but excuses for all of it. But after the Soviet Union collapsed, the Venona Papers were declassified. They were cables intercepted by British and American intelligence during World War II. And they collaborated everything Bentley had said. And this is why I write books on the history of fake news, how information is controlled, and so much more.